Hello all you wonderful people. Today we're going to work on one of the transpersonal chakras. The one right below your feet called the Earth Star. These are quite new age. Um, we use them and talk about them a lot in Angelic Reiki. And I thought that these could go with the original chakra videos that I have done and once they have all been released they will all be joined up for one great big long meditation. Okay, so I think first of all just take a couple of breaths in and just breathe out what no longer serves you. Breathing in and breathing out and consciously relaxing your body as you do so. We're going to start at the top of your head and we are going to work down the body with relaxation. So I'd like you just to get your spidey senses sort of in your head and just feel if there's any tension anywhere on your head. Smooth out the furrows on your brow, relaxing your temples and your jaw. Checking for any tension around the eyes and the nose and perhaps dropping the tongue behind the lower front teeth. Relax, relax. Now working down your neck and your upper back, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Now down your chest, checking for any tension and letting it go. Further down your mid-back to your abdomen, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Now with your shoulders, just drop them and then follow down, relaxing your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms and your wrists and your fingers and turn your palms upwards on your lap. Relax, relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Now relaxing the lower part of your body, letting your stomach muscles just hang loose. Checking for any tension going down the legs now and the knees, your shins, calves and ankles and making sure that your feet are firmly on the ground and if you are not on the ground, if you're sitting on a bed or you're sitting cross-legged I want you just to make sure your body is symmetrical because chi flows better upwards and downwards if your body is symmetrical, not crossing anything anywhere. And just breathe out again. Relaxing deeper and deeper. Okay. So your palms are face upwards and I'm just going to place these Herkimer diamonds into them to activate the hand chakras and to clear any residue away from you. These are very high cleansers. I'll just move them down your body now. Placing them in your hands right now. OK, 
okay. And I'm now going to spray you with a beautiful aura spray from the Chalice Wells Garden in Glastonbury. And this one is called Loving Heart and it is pure rose. And these aura sprays will elevate your light body. Breathe in that beautiful rose fragrance and relax. I'll just quickly sound some singing bowls. Okay, so we're going to ground in a slightly different way. I would like you to imagine light coming in at your heart center. And this will be yin and yang. So it will come from the light and the dark and it will rotate around your heart chakra and some of it will go upwards and some of it will go downwards. Okay. And that keeps traveling and traveling and traveling so that you are joined with infin infinite earth and sky energies rotating at your heart and going up and down. And let's concentrate on that downwards one, the downwards flow from your heart all the way down through to your root chakra, down your legs and out of the holes in your feet, further down into the earth, to the earth star chakra, now some people think it's about a foot below you. I think it's a little bit deeper, but you can probably feel that now as we talk about it. And this transpersonal chakra is originally a black color. But when it is activated, it becomes magenta, the color of my scarf or the color of this agate. But let's just take our consciousness down to this earth star. And we're just gonna start clearing it. I am gonna lift my hands up, but one hand will be up at the screen and one will be down at your earth star. And even though we can't quite reach it with our hands, we can reach it with our mind. Okay, so as we clear, I'm just going to read some things out from a few books. So this relates to rebirth and a connection to Mother Earth. It helps with your nurturing. It also helps with your grounding. It is a place apparently where the spirit guides enter. It also helps with your vitality and your rejuvenation, but it also gives you stability. The issues with this, so if it's not working properly, it will help 
with the recreation of matter. So you can work on this to change your mindset as well, I would have thought. The physical association and location is below the feet and it spreads out in a circle. Complete sphere around. The associated spinal area is the Sushuma, the central nadi. And the inner aspect that it helps is restructuring DNA. The physical action of this energy center is that it creates an awareness in nature. The mental action helps you overcome polarity. And the spiritual action is preparation for your light body for ascension. And a stone that can help activate it would be clear quartz. Okay, so we're going to just clear that now. And if you haven't already done so, I just want you to imagine a sphere of light surrounding you and protecting you. But I did, and I always protect and ground you before we come into the videos because sometimes I forget. So we will have already done that before I recorded. But let's imagine that sphere of loving energy from the higher realms as we clear this energy center. So I'm going to draw in the Say Hey Key. And I'm drawing it with both hands, remember, one aimed at the energy center below your feet and the other aimed at the screen to so just clearing away clearing any despondency with the world any lack of connection and this would be especially good for you to practice if you live in a high-rise apartment building it would be better if you, if you lived closer to the ground, but you can use your spidey senses to connect your roots down to the earth and make sure that you go out and walk on the earth every day. Even if you just go downstairs and walk around your building. Okay, so we're just gonna clear this now and I'm gonna just start using bit of an analogy. So I want you to imagine those roots. I want you to imagine a tree right behind you. It's a very large tree and the roots spread downwards. Can you feel them passing your earth star? helping to feed it and your roots now turn a golden energy color and I want you just to follow your roots going through the earth star so imagine a ball at the earth star and then your roots spread out from here in all different directions towards the center of the earth and then even right through it connecting you to infinity okay so we're gonna take some quartz and it needn't be a very fancy quartz i've got this here this is my favorite piece of quartz and you see the little rainbow in it okay so again, with your Earth Star in mind, I'm just going to 
activate the rainbow light into this earth star. I'm holding my hand down and we're going to ask your guides, your angels and your monad, your soul group, to help now clearing this and activating it with this little point of rainbow. So when you look to buy crystals, hold them up to the light, especially the clear quartz, and look for rainbows in them, because I feel that that is the strongest part of a rose quartz. Not all of them do have it, and they will still have their merits. Let me change now and use this. This doesn't have rainbows in it, really. Maybe a little one just there but it'll have other aspects within it. So I'm gonna hold that downwards now, drawing that energy and activating your Earth Star, really connecting you to Mother Earth, to the ground that you stand on. So I'm not sure if this feels as strong. Some of you may feel it is stronger. I would be interested for you guys to put in the show note, in, in the comments, which one you prefer, but I've got another one in a minute. And I think because it is a pyramid and the size of it, you may find that the strongest. But let me know, first, second, third, whichever you found the best, okay. So let's now put that down and let's now take the pyramid. And this has also got rainbows in it. It's also got some around the sides. So instead of holding that to you, I'm going to hold it down. And we are imagining a beam of light energy traveling down and with our minds we're inviting it and visualizing even feeling if you can it going into the earth star chakra and activating it okay cleansing it and clearing it and opening it up for you to have a better awareness about yourself, even to rebirth and change anything. And perhaps now is a good time for you to think about what you would like to change with this activation. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this down again because it's so heavy to hold. Let's go back to my original one, my, my, my special little rainbow one. And this is just a worry stone, and this works perfectly. So shining in those light codes, helping you get a deeper connection with your Earth Mother, but also, therefore, your life, your responsibility of the land that you walk on. And I want you now to feel and perhaps visualize this energy center now changing from the black into the magenta. This is actually a dyed stone. Perhaps a truer color would be the scarf that I wear. I often choose scarves to try and fit meditations. And I'm now just gonna hold my hands in a pyramid and angle that down. Asking the angelic Reiki to flow and activate all of your earth star chakras. And feel it change, feel it glow, feel it open up. 
And as it opens up, those golden roots of yours spread out into the crystalline grid under the earth. And you may instinctively be seeing certain colours and that will be what you need to connect to. You may know the crystal's name, but you may just know the colour and that is fine. Breathing in. And I'd like you just to repeat after me. In your mind. Out loud if you have the energy to. I am deeply connected to the heart of the earth. I feel loved and supported in my life going to say this twice more. I am deeply connected to the heart of the earth. I feel loved and supported in my life. I am deeply connected to the heart of the earth. I feel loved and supported in my life. Breathe out. I'm just going to place my hands on each shoulder now. Take your awareness back down to the Earth Star Transpersonal Chakra. Instruct it in your mind and your heart to remain open, giving you that deeper connection. But remember, deeper connection also brings responsibility. You are responsible for your life and you are responsible for the earth, for those who come after. Also, the fairy folk, the angels, all of these beings that come here and swirl around us that we don't see in our daily life, we're ruining it for them as well. So let's safeguard the earth together and pick up that trash when you go out and put it in a bin. Take a little carrier back, do your little bit. If there is a little neglected part of your neighbourhood, a corner somewhere, maybe go and tidy it up. Or maybe as you walk past it, send loving thoughts to it and to the nature that lives there. Okay. So, I'm just going to place my hands on your shoulders. Because I can feel that this is quite a grounding meditation, even though we've been sort of lofty and with angelic Reiki. Our awareness is back down, not up there. Okay, so I'm just going to place my hands on your shoulders now. And I'm just going to let the weight rest on them. And feel that energy travelling down your body and down your arms and into your hands. So I am going to take the Herkimer diamonds away now. Okay. And I am going to thank you for watching. Love and light to you all. And have a peaceful day.